I like it at this stage where it is rough. If it has been used, there are marks of age and time on it. Most people, when they're at the scrapyard, they see the material as garbage. And I see the steel and the sheets and plates as an opportunity to make something beautiful and useful. I'm essentially taking something that's been used and I'm reusing the material, turning it into something new that has the appearance of something that has been used for a very long time. So in that sense, I'm creating a dialogue between the past and the present. My studio is in an old creamery. It's about 100 years old. Originally, it was used to make cheese. So I'm continuing that tradition of making a handcrafted product. The interior of my studio is an open span, and it's about 30 feet by 90 feet. That open span works perfect for me because I'm able to move around large sheets of steel and roll my work around on tables. On occasion, I may start a piece by doing a rough sketch, which works to help lay out dimensions and proportion of a piece. The first step is wire brushing to make sure that there are not too intense of Mars or that there is not writing or paint that shows up in the wrong place. After I've laid out the various elements of a particular piece on a sheet of steel, then I will either um, cut the piece with a shear, or I will use a plasma cutter or oxyacetylene torch to cut elements. After all the elements are cut, I will start by welding together a carcass. Door frames will be welded up, and side panels will be welded onto legs. For hinges, I'll generally cold form and hand hammer strips of steel around a pin. The, the next step is to make sure all the elements fit into the frame properly. If not, I will generally sand the edge of a piece with a handheld angle grinder. Once I'm happy with the fit of all the elements of a piece, I will take it apart and everything will get wire brushed for a final time. When I'm finishing a piece and I leave it out in the sun, that will heat the piece up naturally before it's waxed. I sign all my work with hand stamps, um, J, A, R, which are my initials, and then the year in which it's made. You can't sign a piece until it's absolutely done, otherwise it jinxes the whole process. I've always found a lot of inspiration in minimalist art, and I think that has carried through in what I see in shaker furniture. And the idea for the quilt cupboard came from a marriage between shaker furniture and the quilts of G's Ben. This particular piece of furniture is inspired by a strip quilt pattern that was made of discarded work clothes from a quilter of G's Ben. I've been dealing with the idea of transformation in my work for many years now, um, but I wanted to push this piece a little further in um, various elements. I decided to make a cupboard that would transform from just being a cupboard into a case of drawers. Beyond that point, a cupboard that is not just about furniture making, but it is also about quilt making. This quilt cupboard is made up of rusted steel, sheet for the top, and rusted steel pipe that becomes legs. The doors are made up of sheets of steel cut and reconfigured into styles and rails and inside of the rusted frame are the quilting pattern of the colors white and gray. There's an element of green down here and blue and I'm leaving a lot of the marks that are actually in the sheets like there's holes, writing or a lot of scratches that adds a lot to the character of the piece. When you look at the outside of the piece, it's all very clean, but when you open the doors, the welds will be revealed to you and a variety of maker's marks, similar to the stitching of a quilt. 
I've gone through a lot of different transformations in my artistic career. I feel that um, my work has gotten more intricate and more complicated, and it has moved from being monochromatic in palette to being more colorful and lively. So now I have a whole new search at the scrapyards, and um, maybe someone can, can find some for me. I'm actually hugely superstitious about making work, like me and my studio assistant, while we're working on a piece, we won't talk about how well it's going, otherwise it will start to go badly. <laughs>